Welcome to Hell's Kitchen today. This is a third part of our videos regarding Reaper, which runs on one machine, which is a digital audio workstation program. Titan on the other machine, both are networked, so from Reaper to Titan over network goes um, MIDI over RTP MIDI. From Titan back into Reaper we have MIDI control messages. This is what I showed you in the last two videos and today we are going to refine this a little bit. So let's stop video, uh, stop Reaper. Um, what would be next in Titan would be we would at first we rearrange windows a little bit like this is there. Now in order to use timecode we would um, create a cue list, record, 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 a cue list, should go there and then we add some cues in there. Okay, some like 20 cues or something. Okay, exit, then we open the timecode menu. We check that the timer is enabled. We go to QList, make sure our QList is connected. And we change, we toggle record to uh, record and press go. Now, all in order to see it, we, is, we open the QList playback view. What record with press go does is, as soon as I press the go button, uh, it records the uh, actual, um, the current time code into the timestamp for the queue and advance the queue to the next one. So if I press go right now, it will input 0, 0, 0 into the first queue and advance to the next one. Let's have a look. Go. And this is what it did. Like now, the first queue starts at time code 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, and now, of course, we just run our little piece of music and press the go button as we think it fits. So, MMC play, go, go, go. Go, 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 and so on and so forth. So I press stop. Stop as we have this plugin installed in uh, Reaper, stop resets back to 000, and this also resets our queue list back to Q1. Okay, assume we are done with recording time code, so we disable this mode again, and now we can have a look how it looks like. If we now play the Qless again, play, then it should automatically jump to the next cues. Have a look. I just hit MMC play. And you see in Titan how it runs automatically. Each time um, a timestamp for a particular queue is reached, it uh, toggles through this queue and waits for the next one. Okay, let's stop for the moment because the next question is, is there any way to make this a little bit more elegantly? In order to show this, we um, make a new queue list. This one can be disconnected and killed as well. And we make a new one. Record, record, record a new queue list here. 
and one, two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth, and so on and so forth. Couple of queues in there. Okay. Exit. And have a look into this queue list. And now you see all uh, queues are disabled. Still, the first one is connected. We don't need this anymore. Okay. And now let's have a look into Reaper. So, in Reaper, there's a nice functionality when a music plays. You can just click, hit the M button on the keyboard really the M button here and as soon as I click M in the window it uh, will appear a little a tiny red line and a number on top so I just click M right now and you see here that it has set a marker there so I could now play the music and um, press the M button exactly at the right time You see, I have made just 16 markers, which, well, I can change them, I can delete them, I can toggle them around. And the very, very nice thing is that Mr. Oliver Boates, our master of software at Evolites, has provided a way to um, um, bring them into Titan for the QList time codes. So. We go to the um, Avolites Wiki. I have linked it there. So Avolites DE slash Wiki. If you go there the first time, you just click either you search for Reaper here in the search bar, or you go to um, external control. External control lists a number of interesting things like what is Winamp, which media servers are known, what is MIDI, and other stuff. And there's also a link to Reaper CSV import, a website which feeds Reaper marker list CSV to QList timestamps. Go there, and here's a quick run through how to make this happen. In Reaper, set the timeline to be displayed in hours, minutes, seconds, frames. Load the track, create markers as needed, and so on and so forth. And this is what I'm going to show you right now. So we have already created markers. We have not yet set the um, the timeline to be displayed. This is what we are going to do next. This is done in the View menu. View. Now go to time unit for ruler. It defaults to measures and beats, but Titan, of course, needs hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. How it's usually uh, standard in time code. Next thing is we go, well, we have already set our markers here. Now we need to export them. This is done in another window. The window is the region and marker manager. There we see our um, our markers, which we have created. You can give them even a name here, like uh, this is our start queue, for instance. Let's call it a start queue. Then we can give the second one, this is our second queue, and so on and so forth. Okay, next thing is we export the whole thing. Just right click, export regions and markers, and export this somewhere where you find it. 
So the name we can just leave it like it is, like the demo magus.csv because it is a comma separated value file. Save it. That's all we need to do in Reaper. Now we go to the desktop where we have saved the file. It is here. Right click. Let's have a look what is written in the file there. Yeah, so it's just the uh, ID of the marker, the name of the marker, and the timing of the marker. That's all what is written in there. You could even edit it here. You could even change the names. You could change the um, times, whatever you think you need to do. Okay, this is what we need for the moment. Then next thing is we go to the tool. There are several ways, but in our particular way, we can only go one way, which will be shown last. At first, we have a look at Oli's original website. There you can download the entire widget. And you can also go directly to the website, which runs it there. Now we need to have a look which IP address we want to talk to. So uh, it suggests localhost in case you want to work directly on the computer which runs Titan. In our case, we have two separate machines. And in um, Titan, if I go to network settings in system, system network settings, I see that the um, computer has two network connections active. WLAN is Wi-Fi in uh, German, and Ethernet is Ethernet. So um, this is our wired connection. So 2.0.0.2. Let's have a look there. I promise it will not work. I explain later. So 2.0.0.2 connects and we get an error. This is due to a security setting of modern browsers which prevent connections initiated from uh, other servers going through this computer to a third computer which would be a cross-site request and uh, this is prevented by the um, browser. So that's why, um, at least for such setups, this is not possible unless you would change your browser's security settings. This is number one. Number two, um, exactly for this very reason, I made the same thing. So I took Oli's code and um, programmed my own um, Reaper reader. Same thing, um, we have to input the IP address there, 2.0.0.2, and click on test IP. Now we get the same error here, but a little bit more outspoken. It says, if you want to connect to Titan on another machine, either change the uh, security settings of your browser or save this page locally and double click it. And this is what we do right now. And now again, now it's a full error because the first one is only a hint. So we save this on our desktop. It's just one plain HTML file, nothing else, everything in there. Okay, here it is. And we have double clicked it and now we run it from our local computer. And now running in f it from a local computer circumvents the uh, security settings because of course what is on a local computer can be trusted. At least the browser believes so. So now we do the same again. 2.0.0.2 and test IP. Now it's again the warning here, but we are, we know what we are doing, so it is okay. And now it has 
connected to our Titan installation on the other computer. Let's have a brief look. Yeah, and now it has connected there and it says the show is named clear because this was the show I previously loaded. Have a look um, in the top bar here. It is. It reads clear and um, our reaper reader reads, well, we have a select box of queue lists. There's queue list number one and queue list number two. Yeah, of course, we can go back to Titan, have a look there. And of course, now we want to go to queue list two, this one. Yeah, so back in reaper reader, we select queue list two. We select um, our file, which is demo markers, the CSV file we have just exported. Open it. It reads, and it even reads the legions we set in there. And now the magic happens. That's why I said we are in Hell's Kitchen to die. Um, all I do now is I hit send in. Um, in the Reaper reader, which is top left on your um, on your screen, and if you have a look bottom right here in the uh, time code column, you will see that as soon as I hit send, all the time code will be filled, and even the legends for Q1 and Q2 will change. Have a look and go. And immediately the legions have changed and the time code has changed as well. Now we can finally have a look what happens. Now we have to toggle back to Reaper. Um, we reset Reaper to the beginning. And in uh, Titan we simply start, let's have a look if I have to connect the uh, queue list again. No, it's already connected there. And let's have a look what happens if we play the music. I don't do anything. and. Titan does the magic and has directly learned the correct timestamps which we have exported from Reaper. So again a brief rundown. You need to go to the wiki, go to um, Reaper CSV import in the uh, or CSV reader in the external control section and there you find all the information and all the links and it's advice at least if you want to run it on another computer to uh, download the uh, single file version I created either from here or if you scroll down to the bottom of the page here and yeah, that's the way. And this way, then in a Reaper, you just um, make some markers by pressing the M button, change the uh, ruler timing format, and then open the um, region and marker manager from the uh, view menu, export your markers, and you are good to go. So. Very interesting thing of uh, working Reaper and Titan together, I think. And try it yourself and have fun and see you next time.